one stop tank video for y'all but it wasn't a great video because I didn't explain a whole lot did I um y'all what I did is I went and got this 10 foot stock tank okay I, I, I got it home on a trailer just barely and what I bought is I bought these plumbing pieces from the pool store because I thought the pump didn't come with the pieces that went into the pool which they actually did after I opened it you can use PVC you can use whatever you want really um let me show you what I'm talking about let me show you what I'm talking about okay so like I had a piece that goes here and then there's a piece that goes in there and that connects to your hoses now these hoses do come with the pump this is a little $79 pump okay and I cut my holes too big and I used JB Weld, the putty kind that you mix up and then you put it around and then I used rubber silicone. And you have to put one at the top of your pole and you have to put one at the bottom of your pole. What I used was a drill and I went to Home Depot and bought one of those round metal, I can't think of what they're called, drill things that drills into the metal and it drills a perfect circle. Just make sure you get the right size for whatever you put in for your pump because that's why I had to use the JB Weld and the rubber silicone. And then pretty much um, you fill your pull up and your top hose actually goes, your top hose actually connects to the bottom and your bottom hose connects to the top on your pump. And this keeps the water moving to keep mosquitoes from setting up in your pole it keeps the trash out and you can go with a more expensive system but since this is just a little eight foot diameter pole two foot deep i just felt like this was probably sufficient and so far it has been and then i also put chlorine a chlorine holder in the pole let me see if i can find it my daughter's actually been laying out in it today this is what i keep the chlorine in and that keeps it uh i don't know what does chlorine do i really i don't know i just know that i needed it so far, even as hot as it is here, my water has stayed pretty cool. Um, I probably will need to put a little bit of uh, some cooler water in it uh, soon because it is so hot here. But it's perfect for two people on a float. Four or five people could sit around in it easily. Um, it's just a cool little thing to, um, to have, to cool off in. It, I probably have five or six hundred dollars in it total with the, the tank and the, the pump and, you know, the chlorine and stuff. It's something that'll last. It's not like you're going, you know, it's not like you're going to get it at Walmart and the next year you're going to need another one. So this can be used over and over. You can even make hot tubs out of them if you want to. So if you have any questions, the biggest thing is make sure your ground underneath it is level. Because if you're not, then your water line will be all messed up. So... Um, I just put sand under mine because I had read where to put like a builder's grade sand under it. And so far it's held up really well. It stayed in place and the pool is level. And I just took a two by four and put on top of the pool all four directions. Put my little level on the end, middle, and the other end to make sure I had it level. So, if you're thinking about doing a stock tank pool, they're actually really cool and everybody that comes over here loves it. So I still have to fix up around it. It's been too hot for me to plant things around it and decorate and do my fence and all that. But I will come back when I get that done. So just trying to give you a little more detailed on how to do the stock tank pole. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.